It's a beautiful August day. We're here in a restaurant and I thought I'd give you a garden tour. The garden is back here outside. So let's go take a look. We have a beautiful atrium off the back of our restaurant and out the windows, you can see our culinary garden. So in this garden, we grow a lot of the food that we serve in the restaurant over the summer. And we also preserve and pickle a lot of the food so that we have it for the winter. The garden is broken up into three areas. We call that area over there the potager, and it has our greenhouse in it. You can see there's a big brick wall from the building next door. And then we have our patio here in the middle. And then here we have an area we call the annex, which is just a smaller side garden. And then out back there beyond the patio is just a big parking lot. And this is facing south. So we get a really good heat island back here where we're surrounded by buildings on all sides, including our building. And then the asphalt. So in the summer, it's quite hot. It's a different climactic zone back in this garden than uh, it is in the surrounding area. One of the first things you notice in this garden are these two pear trees. So they're up around 30 feet tall now. And we've been here for about 12 years. And when we first purchased this building and started gardening back here, this was just a flat grass and asphalt lot uh, that was used for parking. So all of this has been done pretty much within 12 years, uh, including all the trees and all the hardscaping. From the back of the yard here, you can see the rear of our building. It's a three-story building, a wooden structure, and it's quite tall. So that's on the north side of the property. So that also uh, shelters this area from wind and helps keep it uh, nice and hot in the summer. This is the patio, and here is a barbecue pit that uh, I sometimes make videos uh, on. See more of that in the future, I hope. And this area here we call the annex because um, we just started gardening in here heavily in the last little while. It used to be a storage area for wood and scraps, and also we had a smokehouse in here. So we have about seven raised beds, and we do a lot of succession gardening. So. A lot of things look kind of empty, but it's August, so we've already harvested some of these beds two or three times. This bed has parsley and cilantro. The cilantro is a little bit denuded. It's hard to keep it growing when it's this hot. So it's up against our little shed, and that gives some shade. So does this fence with the ivy on it, and that allows that bed to be a little bit cooler. We just had a music festival in town, so we basically like went through all of our cilantro and now we're just trying to let it regenerate. This was a potato bed. We harvested our new potatoes, uh, Irish cobblers, and now we've planted uh, zucchini. So we'll have a zucchini crop in the fall. Carrots and dill. The carrots have been harvested twice already and this is a third planting and the dill's just not doing very well this year. Not sure what's going on. This was peas and beans, and the peas are all gone. Uh, it's the middle of summer, so they're not doing so well this time of year. We'll plant them again, maybe in a couple of weeks, but the beans are doing good. And then here we have a lot of grapes. This one's doing really nice. This is sort of a cordon and some lettuce. So this bed would have been planted with lettuce once already this year and harvested, and this is a second harvest. This one is lettuce as well just been planted, but there are some bigger ones. I guess they're probably different varieties. And then here we have some peppers and some radishes. This is probably about our fourth harvest of radishes from this garden. So that's pretty cool. We love keeping radishes going. And that is the area we call the annex. You can see this pear tree has a lot of fruit on it right now. In the patio here, we have this one little garden area that right now we have artichokes and there's some asparagus in the back there. One of these artichokes overwintered, which is pretty spectacular because we're pretty far north and that's not really supposed to happen, but we've been trying. And the other ones we've started here in the spring inside, and they do have artichokes on them. This area here we call the potager, which is a French word for kitchen garden. And I'm up on the stairs here looking down, you can see our greenhouse, which is about eight by 26 feet. And you can see our other pear tree. And that off in the distance is 
the Bay of Fundy in the Atlantic Ocean. One interesting project we have going on here is an apple tree espalier. So these are Honeycrisp apples, and there are six trees here that are being pruned into a two-dimensional shape, almost like a fence. And it's against this large brick wall, which helps with uh, moderating the temperature. A lot of the apples um, have been bagged, and this is to try to keep the bugs out of them because we don't really spray this tree or these trees. So we need a way to keep pests under control. So we'll keep those bags on there for a while. And then in the fall, when the pest pressure is down a bit, we'll take the bags off and let the apples turn, turn red. Next to the greenhouse here, we have the rhubarb. We moved this rhubarb this year, which is pretty cool because it's doing really well. And it gets a lot of water off of the greenhouse roof. Uh, and rhubarb likes a lot of water. So we're looking forward to harvesting from this again next year. This little guy here, we have two of these. This is called a curry tall. It's actually an Italian herb that smells and tastes a lot like curry. Um, it's something that we take inside during the winter. We have all this glass on the back of our building and the atrium part of the restaurant is actually kind of like an orangerium uh, old school. And we move a lot of the herbs and plants in there in the winter. And we also move some of them up there into the second story. It's a lot of edible flowers in this garden for garnish. So here we have some edible flowers and some lettuce. There's some volunteer cilantro growing there, but this has also been planted with radicchio. So that'll be coming up shortly. Some avocado trees that live in the atrium in the winter and are out here to get some full sun and below those pawpaws. We're going to try growing pawpaws this far north and we'll see what happens. More curry tall and some fennel, lots of edible flowers, including borage, which was knocked down by a lot of uh, heavy rain, but seems to be doing totally fine. Some oregano that's in flower, dinosaur kale, and more lettuce beds. We go through a lot of lettuce, so there's several beds that have lettuce in them. Collards, which you normally associate with the south, but we like it to have it on the menu, so we grow that. More lettuce. Another lettuce bed that was just emptied during the music festival. And this has some beets and radishes planted in it now. We also have some fig trees. This has its Breba crop of figs on it, and it's about to produce its actual yearly fig crop. Lots more grapes. The grapes are mostly used to shade the patio from the sun, but we are getting a good crop of fruit off of it, so we probably will be able to make grape juice or wine from that. These grapes are only been here for three years, so it's kind of crazy. And that's all of this production is from two vines and they go all the way down the patio. I have a sour cherry tree here and it had something happen to it. So a lot of the lower branches didn't, the leaves died, but the branches seem to be still alive. We have raspberries growing across, along the fence here and some currants, elderflower tree, radishes and high bush blueberries, peppers, which are doing really well this year, jalapenos mostly, and some uh, yellow wax peppers, I believe. Some tomatoes outside. These are extra ones. We mostly grow our tomatoes in the greenhouse. Crop of beets, sea buckthorn, lovage, celery, sage, Tomatillos. Nice crop of eggplants coming up here. Our zucchini and our nasties or nasturtiums. And then we just grow some random stuff in plants here. Uh, ground cherries, mint to keep it out of uh, the dirt so that it doesn't become uh, endemic and some stinging nettle. And this is our greenhouse, which we just built out of lumber and ordered some plastic from a greenhouse plastic company. From online we have these bricks around the town we live in was made out of bricks so there's lots of excess bricks and this is to hold the heat in the building in the uh, shoulder seasons so we have lots of tomatoes growing here and some herbs there's a fig tree down in there and then we have our cucumbers and some basil 
you can see we're producing cucumbers at this point. Some of these cucumbers are for pickling. Some of them are for salads. And then we have some cucumelon, which I think we're just growing because it's a weirdo. So we did all this in 12 years. Mostly just Sarah and myself. There's a lot of love and labor put into it. But it's never too late to start gardening because you can do this much in 12 years. So that's the garden tour. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and hitting the thumbs up 